What's up, music artists? It's Jay Jonas again, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook page for your music. Now, you might be wondering, you know, it's 2022, do I need a Facebook page uh, with all these other social media platforms? And I would say, definitely. If you wanna advertise, you're gonna need a Facebook page. And when it comes to promoting music online today, Facebook and Instagram ads, um, are still one of the, you know, I would say the strongest ways to get your message, your music in front of people. But I digress. In this episode, we're just going to be focusing on setting up a Facebook page. Later down the line, I'm going to teach you guys how to advertise from your Facebook page and how to grow your following on that Facebook page, your page likes, things like this. Okay, so right now I'm logged in to my Facebook account. And, you know, a lot of this is super simple, but there's some things you can miss. And so all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the pages tab. Usually that's over here to the left, okay? Click on that thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on, now I have a bunch of different pages. Uh, you're gonna click create a new page. Okay, now you're gonna put your page name. Now, in the episode before, I created a logo, okay? And I'm actually gonna use that logo for this Facebook page, okay? And I believe it was Jay's Jam Band, I know it's lame, um, was the name that I kinda just came up with. Now I'm gonna move me over here, I'm trying to, not block anything. So Jay's Jam Band was the awesome name I came up with on a whim for my band. Okay, now category. Let's see what they got here. Let's just plug in music. Okay, so we got musician, we got band, we got musician. Um, I wonder, you know, I haven't done this in a little while. So let's see, we got rapper now. Okay, cool. Um, now, some of you guys might be DJs. So let's just see what's up. Yeah, we got DJ. Okay, so for this purposes, we're just going to put band. Okay, now we got band, we got musician slash band. I'm just going to put band. Okay, now is where you'd want to put like a description about your band. Um, I'm not going to kind of do that right now, but, you know, put a little bit more than a sentence. Um, and, you know, I guess kind of tell a little bit of, of a story behind your band. It's only 255 characters. Okay, and from there, you could just go ahead and create your page. So I'm gonna press create page like I just did, moving me over here. And now it says that everything was created. Okay, so now we got these other options right here below. Um, images for a profile photo and then a cover photo. Now, guess what we're gonna design that with? Canva.com. So if you haven't seen my previous tutorial, I created a logo with Canva.com for absolutely free and you don't need any design skills. But uh, so I'm gonna use that logo that I created. And if you would like to see that video, uh, it's literally the only video I've posted other than this one. And now I'm gonna press open. Okay, so now I got my logo here. It actually fits quite nicely. And then I'm gonna say, well, I guess I could add a co cover photo. I haven't added one yet. And you know what, just to show you again, I guess I'll do another little quick Canva tutorial here. I'm gonna type Facebook cover photo. All right, you guys, and I could just create a cover photo right here for my page. Now we got all these options. Like I said, I'm not going to dive too much into this. I'm actually let's see, let's see if they got band. It's Facebook cover band, wow, cover band. Oh, so let's just check out this one right here. Is this actually a music one that I just stumbled upon? Oh, it totally is. Okay, that's that's awesome. Um, so I'm not going to take too much time to edit this. I'm just going to put Jay's Jam Band. It's kind of like you were just editing with a Word document. You just click and, um, and you just type, okay? Now, I'm actually going to use the font that I used for that, that logo that I created, okay? And that's the Art Nouveau Ultra Rough. And it's kind of got that Grateful Dead vibe, and I like it. Okay, now I know I'm moving myself all over here. Please bear with me. So... I like how this looks, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, huh, I guess I'm going to, see now you got me designing here, I'm supposed to be creating a Facebook page for you guys, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and share this and download this, and I'm going to plug this into my Facebook page. Okay, now I've got it downloaded, let's go ahead and click, there's my cover photo, I'm going to click it. 
And now that's going to load. Okay, and I'm going to see if I could adjust this. I kind of want to adjust that. The thing with the cover photo, guys, is you want to kind of keep everything in the middle um, because you want it to also fit for mobile. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to fill out a lot of this information, especially what's important is this call to action button. Okay, this gives you an opportunity to be able to send traffic somewhere like your website or your smart link where your um you you know people could find your music or directly to your Spotify channel if you want. The smart link if you guys don't know is going to be better because you could hook up a Facebook pixel to it and then you could track users so then you could target them later with ads. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. I'm going to create tutorials on this later on. Um, you know, obviously we could create posts right here, and you're going to want to do that before you start advertising your page. You got your your messenger tools. You got your inbox. You know, when people um, message you, you're going to want to communicate with them. You might be like, "Hey, I like your music," and that's great. That's an opportunity for you to open up a discussion, uh, and you know, get them to stream your music or you know maybe buy some merchandise or something like that okay you got your notification you got your insights right this is like the data and things like that but let's just kind of focus on setting up this page first thing you want to do is create a username so as you see right here create a username and for my username I'm just gonna put Jay's jam band okay cool is that available Jay's jam band it's easier for people who find this. Uh, yeah, it is available. Great. So Jay's Jam Band is my username. Done. All right. Now, as you can see, set up your page for success. So they make this really easy to fill out. Establish your page's identity, and they give you some to-do lists. Okay. Provide info and pr preferences. Now, here's another opportunity to put your website. So you know, I don't have a Jay's Jam Band, but I would put Jay's jam band if I had a website dot com or you could put your Spotify channel or you could put your smart link that way when users click on it they can be tracked by your Facebook pixel um, and things like this so this all gives you an opportunity to be able to send some traffic uh, you know to other locations when people visit your page or like your page okay now like I said the most important thing on this page is going to be this ad a button so this call to action button now let's click on the let's see what options they give us okay, I'm gonna put me over here I'm gonna leave myself over here sorry about kinda bouncing around here you guys so make it easier for people to follow your page so I guess just a big button here where people can f follow you uh, view gift card not really gonna be using that for music I wouldn't think uh, an order probably not book now I guess this could be good if somebody you were trying to get people to book you as a band so you're trying to kinda of, you know get venues to book you things like that people to call you so they can directly call you uh, another messenger button now even though you have a call to action button there's also going to be a button where people can message you so you don't need to put that there there's whatsapp there's send email there's so many different things you guys um, what I would probably do is I would put you know a link to where people could find my music you know you could just put learn more or you know, you know, one thing they used to have, and I, I don't see it, is no, they used to have listen now. But that's a call to action button when we set up some ad campaigns. I'm gonna show you later. So you know, you could put shop now if you're gonna send them to a CD page where you're selling like a CD offer, or you could just do learn more where they could just learn more about you. Now I'm gonna put Jay's jamband.com. Okay, I'm gonna say save, and then now. I've got my button right here where people can click and learn more about my band, check out my music. Okay, now all this stuff is super easy, you guys, but you could skip over some of this stuff and totally be, you know, missing out here. So now you, if you wanted to put a location, you could put your location. Um, here's another place to edit your description. I do suggest that you do that. Uh, here's an option to promote your website. Don't worry about that. I'm actually going to, in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to promote your Facebook page, okay, with advertising. So we're going to get into setting up some ads and uh, building your following on the page. You can put your phone number if you want. Uh, your email, I definitely suggest putting your email here. Uh, and then, yeah, so now you got a page where people can learn about you, right? Think of this as like a website. If you're just starting out releasing music and you're, you know, here's a good question to ask. Do you need a website? I'd say in the beginning, 
unless you have an offer to promote, um, to sell, uh, to advertise and send traffic to, not quite yet. Uh, your Facebook page can be good for that, okay? And you know you could just use your call to action button sending traffic to your smart link or directly to uh, your streaming platforms. Okay, now let's just go over some of this stuff to the side. You got your messenger tools, let's go into settings. Okay, so you got your page visibility. Let's say you didn't want it be, to be published. Let's say you wanted to make sure everything was set up, take your time with that. Uh, you could put it on, uh, you could unpublish it, right? Put it on private. Um, let's say visitor post, anyone can publish to the page. Let's say you wanted to restrict that. You could actually restrict this. Um, review posts, you know, things like that. Uh, and you just got a bunch of different options here. Feed audience and visibility for posts, auto-generated video captions and subtitles. There's a lot of stuff here. So um, a lot of this stuff I kind of just keep, you know, the way it is. I guess one thing you'd want is you wouldn't want people posting on your page. Um, and so, you know, you might want to put review posts. So before somebody can post on your page, you have to review it. So that's maybe something that I would change and put save changes. I know other options here is you can link your Instagram account, okay, which is cool. You, you kind of do want to link these things. Um, and you know, what I'm going to be going over when we started getting into advertising is actually how to link together, you know, your Facebook, your Instagram, all in a business manager account. Not only that is you got page roles. If you're in a band, you know, you're probably not the only one that's going to be on the page. So here's where you could add people to your page. Um, as like an editor or a moderator or an advertiser analysis or an admin most likely if you want them to have the ability to be able to you know the as much power as you because the admin is going to be top of the hierarchy you'd want to add them as an admin all right you guys so that was like the settings and things like that take your time to look over that um the, a lot of the stuff i kind of don't pay too much attention to Really what's important is that you got this call to action button hooked up. You got your inbox, you know, you're checking your inbox because when you're advertising, people might message you and it's always a good opportunity to be able to open up some conversation with your potential fans or people you're warming up through your ads. Now, you know, I'm sure you guys already know this, but let's just go over how to create a post. Okay, this would be important. Let's say that, you know, you do got a music video and you want to post it straight to your page or you want to post a clip to it. You just click create post, write a caption, um, and then include the link to where they could find that content or just post the content directly by clicking this photo slash video button, okay? Then you press post. Now, boost post is a way to advertise your post. Um, that's definitely an option, but as you know, I'm somebody that's been advertising with Facebook and Instagram ads to promote music for over 10 years. It's always better to advertise from ads manager okay now you might know what that is or you might not uh, i am going to be going over that in later tutorials okay so this is your facebook page now you won't want to you want to take some more time um kind of editing things and creating a cool cover photo getting your logo up in there that logo i created in the last tutorial kind of Proud of it. In the next episode, what I'm going to do is show you how to grow your following on this page, your page likes by advertising. Okay, and this is good because this is going to get you warmed up with setting up Facebook and Instagram ads. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got some value from it, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a question and I would love to interact with you. And until next time, you guys, I wish you the best of luck with your music. Peace.